In late 2007, the Iraq war is winding down, President Bush has declared victory, and the reconstruction process is underway. Sergeant Matthews and his spotter Sergeant Isaac are sent to build a pipeline in the middle of the Iraqi desert. All the Americans working on the site have been killed, so now it's their mission to find the culprit before sending in new builders. The soldiers hid behind a clump of bushes and rocks to survey the position under the melting sun, and 20 hours passed without incident. Matthew begins to grow impatient, and begins to think that there are no Iraqi soldiers left, and considering the scattered corpses, the site must have been attacked by a group that left after completing their mission. Isaac noted that there were no signs of a large group moving around, and noted that all of the personnel were killed by headshots, likely by a legendary professional Iraqi sniper known as Juba. However, Matthews thinks it is impossible for anyone to kill this number of people in less than 30 seconds. Eventually, Matthews finally gets tired of waiting, and goes down to take a closer look at the location after asking Isaac to cover for him. Isaac explains that his chance is getting bleak, and Matthews teases him for not changing sooner. But it's important to Isaac because it belonged to a fallen comrade. Matthews then goes from body to body looking for clues and begins to believe Isaac's theory when he confirms that everyone died from a headshot. He goes to the center of the site to determine the possible direction of the shot as Isaac urges him to back off. But suddenly a gunshot is heard and Matthews falls to the ground, suffering a severe pain in his stomach. Desperate to help his friend, Isaac runs in a zigzag path to avoid any incoming bullets. But just as he reaches Matthews, he is shot in the leg. Isaac has no choice but to leave Matthews behind and run to hide behind a broken wall. Painful but still a alive, Matthews contacts Isaac and tells them to call the base and ask for backup. First though, Isaac notices that the wound on his leg is pretty awful, so he proceeds to tie a belt around it to stop the bleeding. He then grabs his radio bag and tries to contact the base, only to discover that he has no signal because the sniper shot the antenna. Suddenly Matthews contacts him again and tells him to watch the sniper so he can target him, ignoring Isaac when he warns him that the sniper will notice any movement and shoot him again. Isaac sets about making a hole in the wall with his knife to insert the scope, only to be injured by some falling rocks. Matthews then tries to take his rifle away, only to pass out due to blood loss. Not wanting to end up like his friend, Isaac uses a blade to remove the bullet from his leg, an extremely painful process, then bandages the wound before he passes out. Moments later, Isaac wakes up when he hears a strange noise coming from his earpiece. It turns out to be an officer from the base, and Isaac immediately begins to report the situation and beg for medical supplies. However, he starts to get suspicious when the officer asks him a lot of strange questions, and most importantly, he asks him to either tell them his exact location or stand up and shoot in the air, claiming it is to deliver the helicopters. Isaac correctly points out that this is against protocol and will put him in danger, and as he begins to pay more attention to the man's words, he realizes his accent is not American. This is the Juba sniper, who hacked the radio frequency to try to set a trap. Isaac doesn't fall for it and calls him out, but instead of hanging up, Juba starts asking him questions, claiming he wants to get to know Isaac better. Isaac tries the radio again, but it's still not working. Juba insists on asking her silly question, and when Isaac refuses to chat back, Juba threatens to shoot Matthews again, which is risky because the there's a chance. He's still alive. Isaac agrees to chat for a while and asks Juba to go first, while he begins to draw a map of the site on the dirt to calculate bullet trajectories and pinpoint the sniper's likely location. Juba tells him that he's just a regular Iraqi citizen who wants to save his country, and asks Isaac to tell him about his family. But Isaac points out that it's too personal. Isaac then mocks Juba's argument that he is killing people who are actually trying to develop the country by bringing in schools, pipelines, and infrastructure that will boost the local economy. Juba laughs at this, and he explains that the money made here will later be sent back to the U.S. As time goes by, Juba continues to ask questions, but Isaac refuses to say anything personal about himself. Juba threatens to shoot Matthews again. However, Isaac no longer believes him. To prove he's dangerous, Juba tells Isaac the name of the scope's previous owner, citing Matthews' previous teasing that he's dead. This means that Juba has been listening to their conversations ever since he arrived. Taking his chance, Isaac notices a dead man with a radio and drags his body to the edge of the wall, but even without using a piece of wood, he'll be able to reach it without revealing himself. After Afterwards, Isaac tries to drink some water from his bottle, only to find it empty due to a hole, which Juba confirms he did on purpose. He admits that he didn't miss a shot. He specifically shot the bottle, the antenna, and Isaac's leg to put Isaac in an unexpected situation and cause him to slowly die, which he would enjoy hearing through the communicator. When Isaac finds the bullet, he takes off his leg, takes a closer look, and starts calculating the model of Juba's weapon, asking some secret questions. He also calls Juba a terrorist, which makes Juba laugh again, as he points out that Americans are the ones who illegally enter foreign countries with weapons ready to kill people. While Juba talks, Isaac does some more calculations and looks through his scope to finally conclude that Juba is hiding under a huge pile of trash. He has been in these harsh conditions for a long time, not to mention the overwhelming heat, which means this guy is truly a professional. However, Juba denies being the famous sniper and once again claims to be a regular Iraqi man. Judging by his accent, Isaac assumes that Juba must be a former U.S. Army officer who betrayed them, but Juba rejects this as well, explaining that he only kills people who attack him first. In return, Isaac shares 
shares the story of how he met his best friend as a child and how they later enlisted together as adults. Dehydration and exhaustion soon begin to take a toll on Isaac, who collapses to the ground as he hears Juba say that he will stick his tongue to his chest. After this, Isaac tries to trick Juba by putting a jacket and helmet on his rifle and swinging it over the wall, but Juba doesn't fall for it. The helmet falls off, landing on the other side of the wall, so now even Isaac can't protect his head. Such a silly mistake sniping points and makes him cry. More time passes, and Isaac becomes desperate enough to try to take the risk. He runs to a dead body lying on the ground and dodges all the bullets Juba throws at him before stealing his bag and radio and running back to the wall. In the bag, Isaac finds water and some candy which he immediately eats, but unfortunately this radio is also not working. Juba punishes him for this risk by shooting into the wall and heavily damaging his scooper. Suddenly, Isaac hears some disturbing sounds from his earpiece and realizes it is Matthews, who is still alive. Isaac yells the sniper's position at him, and Matthews immediately pulls out a piece of metal to use to look at the pile of trash. While Matthews moves extremely slowly to grab his rifle, Isaac distracts the sniper with small talk and learns that Juba was a teacher in Baghdad. When his student is killed in an American attack, he decides to take revenge. The wall that Isaac hides behind is the ruins of that school. Juba then questions Isaac as he carries the damaged scope, but as Isaac refuses to answer, Juba threatens to shoot Matthews again. Desperate to save him, Isaac admits that he has access to the memory of his old friend, who died because of a mistake Isaac made, and he still feels guilty. Meanwhile, Matthews puts down his rifle and blindly aims at the pile of trash, firing all the bullets he has to pretend the noise is coming from Isaac as he shoots. As Matthews was about to reload his gun, Juba suddenly hit him in the shoulder, shooting him in the back. Isaac tells Matthews to crawl towards him to seek safety behind the wall, but unfortunately, as Isaac approaches the ledge for help, Juba shoots Matthews in the head. Isaac must face his death and finally has a breakdown, saying he wants to go home. Juba tells Isaac that if he really wants to leave, he won't shoot him, but Isaac is suspicious. Later, Juba asks Isaac why he is there, even though the war is already over. Isaac pauses for a moment before replying that he is there because it was, indeed, the one who killed his old friend. Turns out he accidentally shot his previous sniper partner while trying to kill the enemy, and Isaac lied to everyone, saying his friend was killed by the bad guys. Suddenly Isaac hears some noise from the radio and is happy to hear the conversation going on and runs to check the signal. However, his happiness is short-lived as he hears voices but cannot send any messages due to damage to the radio. To Isaac's shock, Juba joins the conversation he's been listening to, and the man uses Isaac's name to ask for help. Isaac eventually realizes that Juba has been hacking into American communications all this time, pretending to be a soldier who needs help to lure the backup team into the area and kill them all easily. Isaac tries to interrupt the conversation to no avail. Moments later, Isaac awoke to the painful sensation of a crow pouncing on his leg wound. Even the birds think he's already dead. Isaac decides to take a risk and uses some rope and a stick to retrieve Matthew's rifle. Then he stares at the trash pile. At that moment, helicopters arrive in the area and reveal Isaac's location, not knowing it's a trap. Seeking to save the incoming soldiers, Isaac pushes the wall so that it breaks, creating a curtain of dust that makes it difficult for Juba to find Isaac's location. Isaac starts shooting at the trash pile, not knowing if he hit his target. To find out, Isaac finally gets up from his position, and he notices to his surprise that Juba isn't using this opportunity to fire back. This leads Isaac to believe that he has effectively killed Juba. Soon the helicopter arrived and quickly took Isaac to a stretcher, immediately giving him medical treatment. Isaac tries to tell them about Juba, but is overheard by the sound of the helicopter taking off. Suddenly Juba starts firing at them, killing the medics one by one before hitting the pilot as well. The helicopter quickly descends and crashes to the ground, killing Isaac instantly and allowing Juba to keep his word. Technically, Isaac was not shot. Juba then hacked into USA lines again and pretended to be an American soldier to lure his next victims.